uh, fornication and uncleanness or covetousness, which is greed, should not be mentioned among us. So the number two thing that should be out of bounds for you and I as believers is greed or covetousness. And we're going to explain the reason why that is also given us as a commandment. But here it is. There are enough resources on earth to cater, to satisfy the need of everyone. Hear that again. There are enough resources on earth to satisfy the need of every living being. However, there is not enough to satisfy the greed of a few. Enough resources to satisfy the need of everyone, but never enough to satisfy the greed of a few. In other words, for the greedy ones, it is never enough. Never enough. And that's why you see individuals who have already stolen billions and have billions stashed away in home and abroad and still looking for more to steal. And that is the evil of greed. When it takes a hold of a life, it is never enough. Never. It can never be enough. And the word of God says that covetousness or greedy tendencies should not be mentioned among the people of God. Why is that so? Because I want the Bible to explain the reason for everything the said should be out of bounds to us. There are scriptural reasons. The Bible says in Luke 12 verse 15. And he said to them. Take heed and beware of covetousness. For one's life does not consist in the abundance of the things he possesses. Beware of covetousness. Let covetousness be out of bounds. Why? Because your life is not made up of the abundance of things you possess. You are not made of things. You are made of the breath of God. And the quality of life essentially is not determined by how much is possessed. How much is owned. That may give you a pride of place among human beings. That may, uh, that may fuel the pride of life. But it does not translate to quality life. Particularly life in God. So it's a covetousness. Should be out of bounds. Uh, what, what, by the way, when we talk of greed, we talk about covetousness. Are we talking about the fact that you should not strive to better your Lord? Are we saying don't work to increase your fortune? No, that's not what we're saying. After all, God promised in his word. He said, the Lord your God will increase you more and more. You and your children. So there's a provision for increase. Why working with God? God has provision for us to increase, to better our Lord. So, we're not condemning increase as it were. But I wanted to understand what we, the word of God is against when you read the definition of the word greed. Now, greed is defined as selfish and excessive desire for more of something. something. Selfish and excessive desire for more of something than is needed. Selfishness is a characteristic of greed. In other words, you just want the whole world to empty at your gate. And you don't mind if others have anything to eat or not. If others have anything to wear or not. If others get paid or not. It doesn't concern you as long as you get paid and you have your due and more than your due, you are satisfied. That is what the Bible is condemning. He says, covetousness should not be mentioned among the saints of God.